Hey everybody, my name is Ronnie and I am a part-time reseller with the ultimate goal of using my part-time side hustle to become debt free. That's the whole purpose of my journey and I am documenting that so thank you for following along. Usually when I do videos like this it's a thrift haul but I did a little something different today and I went to Walmart and I scored a whole bunch of stuff on clearance so I'm excited to share with you the very first one of my what I'm gonna call retail haul videos so join me won't you check out what I got all right here we go first couple of items here these were like hidden clearance um, I found these on Brickseek they were five dollars and then I found them in store but indeed I utilized that Walmart scanning app because uh, that's how you find the good stuff uh, they were labeled at 15 but I paid five dollars a piece for these I got three of the shore troopers and then I got three of Moff Gideon as well. I think what I'm going to do is try and make a bundle out of these. Because individually they're selling for about $15 with free shipping. But if I do a bundle, maybe I can do a little bit better. Next item here, I got one, two, three, four, five of those. It's uh, Power Rangers Dino Fury Morpher. Originally $20.48 in Walmart, but I scored them for $4 a piece. On down the line here, another truck. Well, I was going to say Transformers, but that's kind of like what it is, really, to me. Power Rangers, uh, Dino Fury, $10 a piece, originally $25.88. I got three of those. Pretty excited to find two different of these Mario play sets. I got three in total, two of the Desert Pokey ones, and then one of these. They were originally 20 bucks, and we paid $5 a piece for these. Not on clearance, but I'm on the lookout for Batman-related Hot Wheels. And I found they had two of these multi-packs. And for five cars, this was $4.88, which I thought was a really great deal. I think that there's some really just neat-looking, unique cars with the Joker and the Batmobile and the Batcopter and, of course, the police car. But five cars for 48 and they're all Batman-themed. I thought that was pretty cool. This is not... A personal collection thing per se I'm not gonna open these up though so my plan with these is it's just fun to collect them because they're so cheap and you know maybe one day uh, if they go up in value then I'll sell them this was definitely not something I was intending on finding but pretty good score this is word perfect office times eight brand new sealed in the packaging it was just there's just a bunch of these like software things in a bin uh, I paid $5 each for one of these. I mean, they were clearanced out for $49.97 originally. It looks like $59 at some point. They're selling for, you know, around $30, $40 bucks on eBay currently. So that was a great pickup at $5. Bucks. They also had one copy of WordPerfect Office X9, so the newer edition. And I paid $5 for that as well. One of the things I didn't get, which was like the best score that I found, but unfortunately, whenever I took it up to the register, it said uh, that they couldn't sell it for some reason. Um, it was a copy of Scribble Knots on the Wii U, and it rang up on the Walmart app for three cents. So I was sad to, to not get that one. Being it on Wii U, it probably wasn't worth much, but for three cents, it would have been a no-brainer. So that one got away from me, but that's okay. All right, I lied. I got another one of those Mario things. So I got two of those and two of the Desert Pokies, $5 a piece. I found this guy. He was just kind of sitting there, like, very inconspicuously on the clearance aisle. $8 price tag on that. I was like, eh, that ain't very good. But then I scanned it with the Walmart app, and it rang up for $3. These portable batteries are just so handy. I don't anticipate selling this, but I might give it away as a gift or just kind of have it around the house because I, really like, I really like having these. They're nice. Last but not least, you probably already spotted it, the coup de gras of the day, I feel like, is this Turbo Man. This was not on clearance, but uh, I just had to have it. I've seen people talk about these all throughout the holiday seasons. Jingle All the Way is one of my definite favorite holiday movies, and I was really excited to have found this guy at retail. I paid $35 for him. He looks to be in basically immaculate shape. I didn't realize that this is something that was made by Funko. So that's kind of interesting. So this will obviously be something that's very limited run. And my plan is to hold it and to cherish it and put it on display somewhere. And then just kind of check the pricing maybe around next Christmas and see if these have kind of dried up a little bit. And if they have and the price is right, you know, if I could get, I don't know, how much would I want to sell this for in order to feel good about it? 
usually for resale things I like to double my money so that would be 70 and really for this I feel like I could do better I don't know if they don't reproduce this if they don't make it again I could see it getting you know 150 200 dollars at some point leaving it sealed in the box uh, jingle all the way is not going to go out of style anytime soon I don't think the box is in pristine condition I didn't even check if it was sealed it is there's a little strip of tape right there so yeah I mean brand new inbox turbo man it's turbo time I mean that's that's just cool and the fact that it's a Walmart exclusive you know there's not tons and tons of those out there and there's gonna be little boys that watch that movie 10 15 years down the road and they're gonna be like man I wish I had my own turbo man doll well sonny boy I'd be happy to sell you one come see Ronnie resells he's got your back all right, so that is everything on this trip. I spent $176.10 in total. How do you think I did? What do you think is the big winner of the lot? Of course, some of this stuff I'm going to be able to offload pretty quick, turn around, make a quick profit. Other things, like the Turbo Man doll, that's going to be more of a long-term hold, more of a more of a sentimental item that I picked up. But i got to say, once again, just, just how cool is that? <laughs> he's, he's so cool! I've got my own Turbo Man! <laughs> that is awesome. That is going on display in my living room. In the box. Yep, I'm going to be that guy. One other thing I do want to mention is that this whole trip started because I went down the rabbit hole of watching a YouTube video this morning by the thrifting, account thrifting, the thrifting accountant. His name is Justin. That's his YouTube name, The Thrifting Accountant. And he's been doing videos lately about BrickSeek. And BrickSeek is an application you can download on your phone or you can go to their website. And it allows you to see inventory of a particular store. So if you wanted to know if a local Walmart, for example, has a particular Lego set and what the price is and about how many quantity they have, you can look that information up. It is not always 100% accurate, but it's always a guide that I have used in order to purchase all of my sealed Lego sets. I feel like if I can monitor that, I can kind of get out there ahead of the other people kind of gives me a little bit of an edge. Well, he's recently talked about how he's actually paying for BrickSeek because you get some extra added perks with that. So I thought, huh, well, that would be a fun little experiment to try out and see if it was worth it. So what I've done is I have purchased a subscription to BrickSeek. I went for the premium level membership, which is $10 a month. And what that gets you is the ability to select any store around you and to actually see what the most current markdowns are within that store. Now, I didn't find several of the items that I'd kind of targeted in order to, uh, to... Now, granted, I didn't find several of the items that I targeted in the store that I saw in the application. However, that took me to the store, and I found all of this other stuff because of that. So, I don't... I don't you know, I'm going to gauge whether or not it's worth it throughout the month. Um, I spent $10 on it, and I definitely saved way more than $10 today, so... That's that's something. Uh, yeah. And that will wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave those below. Still figuring out most things with this reseller thing. What works, what doesn't work. I definitely like the thrill of the hunt, though. We can definitely say that about Ronnie Boy. So thanks again for watching. Hope you all are well. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.